Well, hello from the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. We are here on vacation with my husband and my girls. Um, we've been here since Friday, so we were here for Christmas. We have had a wonderful trip, but we have had a lot of unforeseen circumstances. I mean, at this point, we're kind of giving the Griswolds a run for their money. So we got here on Friday. We were so excited. Of course, there's honestly, we are not the family that takes like two vacations a year. Dependent on my husband's a shift worker. So dependent on it always for years seemed like the holidays he was always working and depending on what plant or whatever you work for, you're not always able to take like they won't let you take vacation on a holiday so this year we were able to come to Tennessee for Christmas and um, he was able to take vacation so we were pretty excited about that so the trip here was great um, in fact we rented a I think it's a 12 or 15 passenger van because honestly I'm a terrible traveler my two kids are terrible travelers plus we have our Catahoula Cur dog that's with us and um, so my husband surprised us by renting a van so we had plenty of space so that was a huge huge blessing for the trip because for us it's about ten and a half hours to get here um, so yeah, that was perfect. Everything went great with that, with the van. Um, so we get here on Friday, go grab some groceries, come check in. That was a great day. So it was super cold at night. The first couple nights we were here, like five degrees. Well, this Louisiana girl does not know how to handle cold weather, but thankfully I did pack pretty heavy and we've learned to layer and um, so I'm not absolutely freezing so Christmas Eve we didn't do a whole lot a lot of things weren't like fully open um, like the whole town some of it was open some of it was closed or closing early understandably um, Christmas Day we stayed in the whole day we had planned to go to a show that night because they did have a couple shows that were um, still doing like a Christmas night show. We decided not to do that because we ended up booking tickets for Dollywood, which is really a better deal because all these shows like dinner and show, they're expensive. They very expensive. So I ended up saying, you know what, we're just going to do Dollywood Monday. So we stayed in all day Christmas Day. Well, comes through a very unexpected, like even the locals are like, I don't think the town was really prepared for this. So Monday, Dollywood is closing. Um, well, not closing, they're opening like at 1 o'clock instead of 11 o'clock. Well, I had already bought tickets, bought passes for like to upgrade our tickets, which basically doubled the amount. But we had planned to stay like the whole day. We were going to do, they have several shows throughout the day at Dollywood. So I'm like, really, it's not that bad. You're getting all the shows, all the rides, whatever. So we're like, no, we're going to spend a full day there. So let's wait, let the weather pass through, and we'll go on Tuesday. So Monday, we go do some, um, the Wax Museum, they have uh, a really, okay, so if you ever come to Pigeon Forge, you need to do the Wax Museum, and next door to it, you can buy like combo tickets, and you get the Wax Museum, you get, I think it's Hannah's Mirror Maze, you get, um this other like little ride and it's 3d and you like shoot the clowns or whatever it was a lot of fun like pretty good amount of time to to play and then they have this zombie like haunted house it's amazing you have to do it 
like Olivia, my oldest, she was about to dip out several times throughout walking through. Plus, we were with the family in front of us were so freaking hilarious. We had done it before. So, we were kind of prepared. Well, they were not prepared at all. They were hilarious. The mom would get freaked out and just start walking backwards, like knocked all her daughters over. It was it was great entertainment in itself, just watching them. So we did do that. We found an amazing Mexican restaurant that was out of this world. Well, it starts snowing. And when I tell you, not just little flurries at first, it was, and that was on our way to eat. And then it's like, coming down heavy like full on snowing so by the time we eat we get back to our mountain so it's probably from town it's about 7 miles to the end of the mountain and then it's about a mile up the mountain itself when we get there we get maybe an eighth of a mile I don't know if we even got that far but it was obvious very like we were not making it up this mountain keep in mind our dog is in the cabin by herself we're stuck in this van at the end it's a whole mile walk no clue what to do so we go back into town we get snow um chains or whatever I'm like and this mountain is like pin turns and we're in this huge freaking van so we get back to the end of the mountain and I'm like there's no way there's no way there's cars at the end of other people that stayed on the mountain that obviously parked and walked up but for our cabin we're seriously at the very top and it's like a full mile. We suited up. We're like, we're just going to have to walk up the mountain. So we leave the van at the end. Start walking up. And at this point, it's probably like 20 degrees. Y'all. It was so cold. We had not even walked that far up. I'm like, y'all move over. You could see lights coming down the mountain. I'm like, there's somebody coming. So this guy, which is a local, he lives here. He lives on the mountain. He's like, where are y'all staying? So we tell him, he's like, well, y'all hop in. I can't let y'all walk. I'm like, you are kidding me. And honestly, like I start crying at this point, which sounds like such a little baby. So... I'm like, oh my God, thank you so much. And I was just so upset. Like, the dog was there. I was nervous and scared about just driving on the regular roads. Had my nerves just wrecked. I'd already called, like, our resort people and asked for, like, what do y'all think we should do? Do y'all have any suggestions? I called the local, like, police. They're like, we have people out and they'll get to it when they get to it like a plow or whatever and so the local was like yeah this weather basically snuck up on everyone it was very unexpected normally they ice the roads before something like this comes through whatever so we get up today it's our big day at Dollywood we had already checked once again they're not going to open till one o'clock because of the weather so at this point it's like our last full day here so we get up get things going okay we're walking down the mountain i should have videoed we do have video if i if i have to get some video footage i'm pretty sure one of my daughters did video some of us walking down We get halfway down the mountain. There were two cars that had wrecked. So then behind them were stuck like four of the locals that were trying to go down the mountain. Couldn't even get out because of this accident. So we get back to the van. We 
head on out. We get to Dollywood. It took us, of course, longer to go down the mountain than we thought. We get to Dollywood, and they're closed. They're not opening at 1 o'clock. They're closed. They're not opening at all. Now, these tickets were like at $800. $800. So, that's still up in the air. Surely, they'll have to refund our money. It's been one thing after the other. So, we go do a few things today, get back to the end of the mountain, hoping that a snow plow has come through, hoping we'll be able to drive the van up this time because we are checking out tomorrow and we have all these huge luggages and all the stuff. Like, we packed way too much. I always do that. But we were here for five days, so... We have to walk all the way up the mountain. So, we get maybe a fourth of the way up the mountain this time. And a truck passes us. He stops. He's like, I can't bring you all the way to the top because I think there was actually cars at some point that, like, I can't get past them. He's like, but y'all hop in, we'll bring. So, once again, we're saved walking a mile up this freaking mountain plus you're slipping and sliding everywhere because it's now halfway melted turning back to ice just a freaking fiasco needless to say by the time we got back this evening it's just been like i really wish we had just stayed and enjoyed our day in not even tried to do anything had we known dollywood was gonna be closed we wouldn't have but it is what it is at this point i am grateful and thankful like at least we did have the time away we were able to come and just have time downtime for just me and my girls and my husband because that is few and far between times that kind of the world is shut down for the holiday work is kind of laying low and shut down that you don't have things to worry about so at the end of the day None of that matters. We're still blessed and we did have a good time. Just, if nothing else, just relaxing and being with one another. And we ate some amazing Mexican food. It was so good that, like, on the way out tomorrow, I'm like, we need to stop and have lunch there before we go. Um, but anyway, I hope that y'all had a good Christmas. Um... So, we didn't get a ton. Well, we weren't supposed to get, like, this was our Christmas. But Jonathan did end up getting me um, Alien Goddess perfume. And um, y'all are on a new vlog, like, camera holder with this little light and stuff. And it has a microphone. So, hopefully the sound will sound better. Because I'm um, you're too famous now. <laughs> no, a complete joke. But my husband is so cute, y'all. Of course, I get thrilled at any, like, y'all's comments just make my day. Just the interaction. If I get a new subscriber, but my husband is so cute. He'll be like, you're up to 333. And, you know, like, he's really excited about it as well. And pretty invested. Giving me ideas for, um like video ideas or whatever so it's been a lot of fun thank you to everyone that came from rich lux's video i really really appreciate it um i think we're like at jonathan said 351 as of today subscribers so that's so exciting like i never dreamed that like, I would really be doing this, and I am. And it's thanks to y'all that y'all are watching and leaving comments and liking the video and all the things, subscribing. So, I am really excited. And um, so, yeah, that's our kind of fun, blessed, crazy kind of Christmas. Um, and then, oh, Jonathan did surprise me with JLo's um, skincare. So I had mentioned that and he, he did end up getting me that as well. So 
Anyway, I'm going to go in before I freeze to death. Um, but I will see y'all soon in a video. And um, yeah, I hope that y'all had a great Christmas and was able to spend time with family as well. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.